Hi guys, so t I, uh, <laughs> let's try that again. Hi guys, so today my makeup you're gonna see is pretty awesome if I do say so myself. <laughs> I basically just finished filming a doing my makeup like Patricia Bright um, and I absolutely love it. Like definitely a lot more glam than I'd usually uh, go for. Um, video is probably gonna most likely go up before this one so you'll probably have seen it. If you haven't then head over there and check it out after this video. Um, but yeah, definitely a lot more glam than I would usually go for. Um, but yeah, definitely like love it. Anyway, so the reason I'm looking like this is because a few of you have asked me for a a few of you have been asking me for a turban tutorial for the two buns tur two bun turban style that I did. Um, so I've got a fast version on my Instagram. If you're not following me on there, make sure you head over there and follow me because I do weekly turban tutorials on there. Um, and then the ones that I do on here are detailed. And um, yes, yeah, so you should be able to follow it step by step, hopefully. So the two bun one, I'm not going to lie, it isn't the easiest style to achieve. However... It is possible, it's not possible. Okay, so um, what I do is I basically put my hair up into two space buns. So one here, one here. And then if you need to add volume, you can just add a scrunchie, like a, one of them thick scrunchie things. Not like the big, not, where is it? Not one of these, cause that would be, not one of these because that would be way too big but I just mean like a normal scrunchie just to add a little bit of volume okay so obviously I then put this um this uh, like scarf thing like so I go to sleep in basically so I put that over um to protect my hair from the uh material and then I'm just gonna put um a bobble over here just to kind of tidy up a bit because it's kind of a bit all over the place okay so I've got my two space buns here, like that. Okay, so which color scarf to use? Okay, so two space buns and then put, if you want to put an over scarf over, I suggest doing so even if you're not bothered about protecting your hair. Um, but yeah, so put, put something on just to kind of neaten things and hold things in place nicely. Um, and all I did was, it's like, it's one of them V ones, so you tie it at the back. So it's been tied at the back there. Okay, then I get my scarf, and I use a jersey scarf for this because I find that it, because of the stretchy material of it, it kind of holds its place. So then I'm using a maxi jersey scarf, so it's pretty wide and very, very long okay so I just fold it not exactly in half just enough so that when you put it over your head that it kind of covers every case okay, so I ran out of space on my memory card but I'm back okay so I fold it like this oh dear what's happening here Okay, so you can see it's not fully in half um, and I'm just going to put it over my head and basically just see if it's enough. If I need to adjust it, then I will. So let's go on ahead. So you put it on from the back like this. And then as you can see, that is just okay. So both sides need to be equal. And all you're going to do is cross the two sides over at the front of your head. Okay, and then bring this one round towards this bun on your right um, and then just let go of this side and then literally you're just going to try and wrap it around so I twist it a bit as well just wrap it around the um, bun and then tuck it under nice and neatly okay so you have one there now it's the second side that I find is harder to, hardest to do just because um, it's hard to get this bit flat and when it's not flat it looks a bit awkward. So I just kind of flatten it out a bit so by just opening it up, okay, and then take it round the bun and then again twist it round, take it round and then neatly tuck it under the bun, just tuck it in on itself. Okay, 
and that is literally it so as you can see it's got that bumpy bit here which i do not like so i'm just gonna play around with it and see if i can just flatten it out a little bit more um so that's a little bit better um and then the lady who i actually saw this style on i i don't know why i'm speaking like this <laughs> the lady that i saw this style on and actually um she said to me she gave me a little tip and she said that she uses um a elastic band around the buns just to secure them so i'm just gonna use a bobble just to secure it because that's definitely a good idea because the last thing you want is to be out and about and then your scarf just come undone that would be very very awkward okay so around that one and then around this one okay so there you have it it's it wasn't too bad to achieve this one um the only thing that is difficult i would say is just getting this bit to lay kind of flat um but like i said just play around with it and you will get there um i don't think this is perfectly flat but it's not too bumpy as it sometimes uh, can get. So yeah, this is it. And then I'll just turn around and show you how it looks from behind. So I'm sat on a chair, so two seconds. So there's the side, and then there's it from behind. And then if I spin around and show you it from the other side, so this is how it looks, the camera went out of focus. So yeah, this is how it looks, such a cute look, so unique, absolutely love this style. Definitely give it a go, try it out, and if you achieve it, if you manage to do it, then definitely tag me on Instagram so I can have a look as well. And yeah, hopefully I went through it slowly enough for you to follow along. Let me know what you think. Was this I just played around with it in the mirror a bit and then I flattened it out so it looks a lot better. Um, so yeah, like I said, like literally it's just a matter of just playing around with it and adjusting it um, until you get it exactly how you want it to be. And I think if you use a darker colour, it's actually more forgiving. So maybe if you try out, if you start out with like a black or a navy blue jersey scarf, um, it might be better for you as well. So um will you be giving this a go um, and as always any further video suggestions is always welcome just leave them down below if you like this turban tutorial give this video a thumbs up so i'll carry on doing this kind of thing and i'll catch you in my next video guys bye this could totally be another style I'm losing the plot. Came out. <laughs>